the poem that has no end. There are 36 verses in the Holy Quran that discuss patience, 30 on piety, 46 on preaching, 11 on sacrifice, 52 on striving believers, 9 on strong faith, 31 on sorrow, and 177 on truth, all of which illuminate her speech as she carries them in her memory ready to spread their mercy on whoever meets her. She washes away the impurities of those whose eyes read her history, unraveling their sins with each word. It is difficult to be bold in our ways when she is sacred. It's as if all of the hatred that once cradled our bones left them vacant, and these eyes are so thankful for her speech is the sweetest thing they've tasted. We tell her her sacrifice has not been wasted, rather our spirits have finally awakened. And it is patience that learns from her. Yet I am unsure of how her shoulders managed to carry the burden of nations, yet she still painted a smile on the face of orphans. When her name is spoken, I can see the heavens open and the coming of the Imam hastened. It's as if the skies themselves allow the sun to rise for her. And with every new day, I am reminded of her station that met her at her birth. When our hearts yearn for the ancient scripture, when hearts rumble in awe of God and wish to be cleansed with his word, we read his message over and over. Like a lullaby a mother sings to her infant, we are cradled in these very words that hold us by the hand and guide us. It's a calm sanctuary. Even with every raging storm that misses or hits us, we are protected. We are at ease. We are whole, full in every dimension. When the hearts yearn to feel the words of our Lord breathe their first breaths as they come to life, as they walk amongst the people stroking their heads in comfort and allowing their prostrations to speak back in praise of the Almighty, I find her through the traces of scripture she leaves behind. She is alive through these words just as she gives them life. In the same way she gives beauty life just as she is life. There are 36 verses in the Holy Quran that discuss patience, 30 on piety, 46 on preaching, 11 on sacrifice, 52 on striving believers, 9 on strong faith, 31 on sorrow, and 177 on truth. I begin to believe that these are about her. Is she not patience? Is she not piety? Is she not sorrow? Is she not truth? She is Fatima. And those who know Fatima know that there are not enough words or sentences that can be formed to gather all she is. She is a poem that has no end. She simply is.